This week, we're going to look at emotionally focused family therapy. And I think you'll find that the content in this week builds very much on everything that you've already learned. When we do EFT with families, usually the way it goes is that we see the family all together twice. And what we're looking at is patterns, patterns of disconnection, patterns of conflict. We're looking at the adolescent's behaviors. We're looking at what happens in the family. How do they understand this problem? Do they have a sense of the attachment vulnerabilities that are underlying the adolescent's problematic behaviors? We're looking at whether the family can come together and where they, they basically abandon and reject each other. So we look at all those patterns in the first two sessions of family therapy. Then the format of the family therapy sessions will vary. The therapist might see the adolescent by themselves to create an alliance and really get a better sense of their emotional reality. The therapist might see the couple together because they can't form a parenting team or because the mother really needs more support from the father to deal with the child. So the therapist will look at the attachment drama in the family and knows basically what pieces of this drama need attention and goes in and sets up different sessions with different people, subsystems of the family. I think it's important also to remember that corrective bonding experiences which sometimes happen in a dyad, but then will also maybe be repeated to a certain extent with the whole family as a whole. These corrective bonding experiences are disproportionately impactful to all the other experiences that happen in the family. So they are what our nervous system is looking for. They have survival significance. So when these kind of new moments of connection are happening in a family, they impact the whole family. They impact when a father and a son begin to reconnect in a different kind of way, they massively impact the mother who is watching. Really what I'm saying is when you're using EFT, when you're using an attachment frame and you're working with emotion and you're working with inner and between realities, it doesn't matter whether you have an individual, a couple or a family in front of you, you still have a map, you still have a model that empowers you to create change in every session.